finding your cheerful center. In this age of unprecedented wealth and peace, there is still a lot of unhappiness. I was reflecting on the amount of complaining I did a few years back. I've also noticed the amount of complaining about relatively small discomforts from friends, colleagues, and the general public. It seems we have missed a lot of the benefits brought about by the incredible changes and improvements in the world. In many ways, we are all better off worldwide, but we have often missed the benefits. It reminds me of a story about cheerfulness that was told in the old Boy Scout manual. It was about a man during the Battle of Britain who was throwing bricks off the road. Now, the Battle of Britain was during the Second World War, and one of the things that was happening was that rockets and bombs were exploding all over Britain. and London was being rocketed and bombed, and people were being killed and destroyed. Buildings were being destroyed. So in the, this remarkable context and disturbing context, there was this man throwing bricks off the road, and he was whistling. In the midst of all this turmoil, he was cheerfully going about the business of working for the betterment of his city, his people, and his world. How many times have we complained about how the copier works, or the speed of our computer, or the size of our office? We can change this habit of complaining. We can adopt a habit of cheerfulness.